Hey, konnichiwa. Okay, let's talk about HomePod Mini. So, recently Apple released HomePod Mini, which is a smaller version of HomePod. This could be great for some people, but not so great for some people too. So, let's dive in. So, if you open the box, of course you can find the speaker, but also, surprisingly, 20 watt charger with it. So, Apple decided to include 20 watt charger with this, even though they said they're gonna stop shipping 20 watt charger for iPhones because of environmental problems. So, so somehow this is considered as okay to be included. I don't know. So speaking of size, so size is very small. This is almost same size as softball, you know, the ball, right? Um, so my hand is like 20 centimeter. It's really comfortable for me to hold it, even though no many, not many people actually want to hold it. So it's three inches high and it's really compact and really nice. Design wise, mesh fabric is all around it. So it's very simple. And on top, there's a touch panel that, that you can see plus and minus. You can control volume over here, but also touch the center to play music and stop the music, double tap to skip the music go back by three taps so that's basically it the braided cable is embedded permanently so this length is probably like 150 centimeter or something like that so if you want extension you need to figure out how to do it so let's talk about mechanics so this one has s5 chip so computationally this is very capable and this one has custom full range driver. Also, dual force cancelling passive radiator, or whatever that means. Anyway, Apple claimed that even though this is very small, this can produce very good sound. But I'm gonna talk about the sound quality later. Okay, so let's talk about the really one cool feature, which is hand off feature. So whenever you're playing music on your phone, you actually tap like this and then transfer the music over to the speaker and if you touch that again you can bring it back to your phone like this right now it's playing from here right okay so okay cool <laughs> see so this is cool and all right I mean, it's a great feature, right? But as you can see, it doesn't work all the time. You have to try multiple times. And yeah, to me, that's a little bit annoying because uh, if I have to like, you know, tap like this, I would rather just connect this phone to the speaker and then, you know, problem solved, right? So sometimes it, does, it just doesn't work for five minutes and stuff. So like it's, I wish this, will improve in the future somehow over maybe software update I don't know but but at least there's a feature like that okay let's talk about smartness so of course this is smart home speaker so this is supposed to be smart first of all you can use Siri to ask any questions and Siri can answer and over the years Siri has improved their accuracy so I think if you use Siri a lot maybe this can be a, a big help but also if you have like Apple Music, right? Then you can actually ask Siri to play certain playlists. So that's one good feature. But speaking of music, right now Pandora is supported, but not for Spotify. I think most of people use Spotify. Spotify is still number one in the market share. So I, I use Spotify, so I cannot use Spotify for this natively. So, that's kind of annoying like, but spotify support is supposed to come soon in the future apparently so let's see what's gonna happen so if you really want to get into this smart home thing and you can actually put multiple of these in a room and you can actually use this as intercom so you can leave the message and send it over to other room or like other iphones also if you buy multiple of these and you can actually connect to each other so that you get stereo speaker i only have one speaker so i can demonstrate that but that's something you can do okay let's talk about sound quality so sound quality is okay to me so this gets really loud <laughs> 
without any distortion but because it's so small the especially the bass sound doesn't have depth and it doesn't always necessarily produce the most beautiful sound I have ever heard so in my personal use I use this latest Belkin and Debbie Allett speaker which is more expensive right it's like $400 so compared to this this is like night and day difference it's just not even comparable so it, so if you're really into music quality I don't I don't know if I necessarily you know invest in this small speaker if you want just speaker to use series and like just a little background music maybe this could be fine but if you really enjoy the music this isn't the one to get I also have Google Home Mini and this one has about half of the size maybe maybe less than the half of the size so the loudness is much less here and then this is much louder and audio quality is much better so audio quality department so this one beats Google Home Mini but we have to think about the price too, right? This one is $99, but, but Google Home Mini, it can be purchased anywhere between like a 20 to like $25, I think. So you can buy four or five of these with this price. So you can actually put this in every single room in your home while you can get this only one. So to me, to wrap up this conversation, who should buy this? device anyway right if you're really into Apple product but also but also you're using heavily on home kit devices then this one is a good option because this is the latest Apple product and integration is much better compared to other devices right Google and Amazon dot but if you don't care about Apple ecosystem then maybe Google or Amazon Alexa dot may be better because they have more accessories when it comes to smart home so you have to think about what you really want from these devices do you want tighter integration to iPhones or do you have any plans to make your home smarter in the future and if that's the case maybe this one is better because this one supports more accessories so I just really wish this was $50 $100 seems a little bit to stretch for many people when it comes to home speaker because when I saw the reviews Amazon dot which is like $50 has better sound quality than this so cheaper and better sound quality and smarter why should we get this one right so I just really wish this was a little bit cheaper like $59 dollars ish may have been the sweet spot for me but anyway this has been my review and uh, let me know if you have any comment and see you guys in the next video cheers sayonara